might largely focus on, on the cure research and um, talk about the report of two patients who were HIV infected who received an allogeneic bone marrow transplant. That means getting a bone marrow from someone else. Um, and, uh, and a reduced um, conditioning therapy before that bone marrow transplant. So basically not as significantly um, aggressive as Timothy Brown's transplant mm. and not from a CCR5 Delta 32 donor, a normal donor. And the, because the um, intervention's a lot less um, intense, these patients could stay on antiviral therapy over the course of the transplant. And the fascinating thing about these two cases is that the investigators from Harvard Medical School found that the amount of HIV DNA or the infected cells significantly declined after the transplant and in fact was undetectable. We don't know if these patients are truly cured. The only way we would know that is if they stopped their antiviral drugs and the virus didn't come back. That hasn't been done yet. But the fact that we can't measure HIV DNA raises this possibility that it might just be the transplant that it, or the conditioning treatment that eliminated um, HIV from Timothy Brown and maybe we don't need a donor that's Delta 32 homozygous. The other interesting uh, work of course was the um, publication and presentation of um, David Margolis's study on of Varinostat um, that shows that Varinostat, at least with a single dose, shows evidence of flushing the virus from latency. My own group's doing a study of, tw- of 14 days of Varinostat, uh, 20 patients, we've enrolled 10 already, and get David's encouraging results in nature give me you know, great hope that our study will make a significant contribution. Finally, the other um, very interesting um, presentations, I think, again, were around these post-treatment controllers, largely from France, called the Visconti cohort, and evidence that these patients really are different to elite controllers. The immune systems are different, where the virus hides seems to be different, and therefore may be just another model that we can try and understand to get a little bit further to finding a cure. Mm-hmm.